Hi, today I want to talk about vitamins and supplements and how much this costs me four months after duodenal slit surgery every month. Um, and if you're new here, my name is Tina. I had traditional duodenal slit surgery on June 9th of 2020. I'm currently just over four months out. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and please hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload. I really appreciate all my subscribers and it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Um, so let's just get into it. I have talked about vitamins before on my channel, but I haven't really got into the, how much it costs every month. And the reason I was thinking about this topic is because I remember before I had surgery, on I was on one of the Facebook groups and somebody was talking about how they spend $300 a month on vitamins. And so that's a lot of money on vitamins, but I, I take that very seriously. I take... Um, vitamins and supplements and everything that my surgeon and nutritionist says very, very seriously. So I just kind of expected to spend that much on vitamins. Um, so I'm four and a half months out. I've had one run of labs done about, um, about two months out. I'm scheduled for another set of labs in a couple of weeks. So this could all change, but this is just what I'm spending right now on supplements. Um, and I just, I want you to know this because I just think it's something that you need to plan for. And if I hadn't even thought about this before my surgery and all of a sudden I have all this expense for supplements and if I didn't plan for that, it would have been kind of a, a sticker shock. So I think it's just really important and it needs to be a huge priority. Um, it's a life or death, supplements are life or death for people that have had duodenal such surgery and it's how your body absorbs, it's, how your body is going to function. You're not going to be able to take in as much calories as you had. You're not going to be able to take any, you know, iron and calcium and all these things that help your body function. You're not going to be able to take, to eat the adequate amounts and those things, especially the first year, maybe forever. So your body malabsorbs uh, everything for the rest of your life. Not everything, but you know what I mean? A, a lot. So I just kind of want to share um, what this is, what this has amounted to in my budget as far as my situation is concerned and how I've kind of managed it. So um, I take, I, right now I'm not taking any iron supplements and that's because the last time I had my labs run, I, I mentioned in another video that my, I had was taking so much over on my iron that my mouth was black and my tongue was black and my gums were turning black and um, it, it was just gross. I mean, I know I was, it was probably fine. You know, I don't think it was really that bad for me other than just my appearance. Like when I was, when I smiled, you could see this kind of gray, it, I don't know. It would have been great for Halloween, put it that way. But right now I'm not taking any iron at all because my doc, my nutritionist just said, let's just take a couple months off and see how that plays out. So when I run my labs in a couple of weeks, I'll find out how that plays out. Um, but I think I'm, I honestly think I'm pretty good. Um, there are other ways to kind of monitor your iron that don't involve lab work. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I, I have been feeling kind of weak lately, so I don't know if that has something to do with the iron. Um, we'll see. So no iron, but I do take, and this has been consistent for my whole, my, the whole time since surgery. I've taken two 10,000 unit vitamin A um, gel tabs four times a day. So I take eight of those every day. And the vitamin A that I purchase on Amazon, it's it's been it's t about $10 a month. Um, I take vitamin D2 and I take 50,000 I use a day. Um, and the vitamin G2 that I purchased on Amazon is $5.10 per month. I take biotin twice a day. The biotin that I take is 10,000. Uh, I use, I take it twice a day. So that amounts to $7.80 per month. Um, I take, I'm sorry, the biotin is $7.49. The B12 that I take, that I get from, I get this from Trader Joe's and it's, um, I take B12 twice a day 
and that comes to $7.80 per month. I take zinc, 50 milligrams twice a day of zinc, and that's $6.50 per month. Um, the calcium, I was taking a liquid calcium for a really long time, but I stopped just, um, you know, after my labs because I was really over my, my calcium as well and it, it was expensive. So I might go back to calcium that's liquid because I, I don't know, I, whatever absorbs the best. I just don't want to lose my teeth. Um, so <laughs> vanity is important guys. Um, but the calcium that I've been taking is just a bottle. It's like um, a capsule and it's calcium citrate. I take 10 of those every day. So the bottle that I get is basically to make a long math medical equation story short, it costs about $16 per month for calcium. And then my biggest, my biggest supplement besides protein that I take that's really critical is my, I take a bariatric multivitamin and that is three, I take four, four, they're like little chewable things. Uh, I think it's bariatric fusion brand. Um, it's the best tasting one I've found so far. Uh, chewables are, after you have your surgery, the p supplements are really, really critical, but just know that they're not always going to taste good and you're not going to like taking them sometimes, but it's still, you have to, <laughs> just like with the protein, you still have to consume protein. Um, so some things you're just going to have to force. Anyway, the multivitamin that I take is $30 a month. So the total for, oh, I also take folic, folic acid. Um, that's because I heard or read somewhere that that could help with hair loss. So just as a, just because of why not, um, I'm taking folic acid once a day and that's $1.63 per month. So the grand total for all of these vitamins for one month of consumption or just for a 30 day supply is it's about $82, 82, 85, between 82 and $85 a month. So that might seem like a lot of money, but to me, since I was expecting 300 a month, it's, um, I'm okay with that. Uh, again, this does not count iron. Now, when I was taking my iron, it was something that was prescribed through my, my surgeon. So that was covered by my, my health, my, you know, my prescription benefits with my health insurance. Um, but just know if you don't, I mean that all these other things that I've read off to you, that none of those were covered by insurance. I, for a while I was, I had a prescription for D2, um, but that I kind of just, they, they, half the time they didn't even have it in stock, so I had to wait. So I just started buying it on Amazon and that's, it's not that expensive. The D2 is costing me about $5 and 10 cents a month. So I'm not going to worry about a prescription uh, for it just because it's not, if I'm not consistently able to get it when I need it, then I'm not going to worry about it. $5 a month. It's okay. So, um, yeah, that's my total cost of vitamins. And I, I just want to, before I stop talking, I just want to share how critical vitamins are. And, um, it, it's actually pretty scary. And it, I've read some horror stories about, not on Facebook groups, but just if you re, do some research into duodenal switch surgery or vitamin malabsorption, it, it can really mess you up. There, there was one story I read, I'm not sure where I read this, but she had huge welts all over her legs, just big red welts all over her legs. And she didn't know what was going on. It was, the, it would look like big hive type things. And she went to the do doctor and they ran a bunch of tests and found out that that was protein deficiency. And I just, you know, it, it's kind of a lucky thing when your body tells you something's wrong, but sometimes your body doesn't tell you something's wrong. And sometimes your heart just stops because your heart's a muscle and if your muscle doesn't get enough protein then you're going to have a problem and same with all of your other bodily functions you 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 need b12 you need um vitamin a you need calcium calcium can be if you your de dental work is extremely expensive i'm we all have to realize that um i don't i have enough 
dental issues being a 51 year old woman you know I don't need any more dental stuff so I'm very very consistent with all of my vitamins and I, I hope that this doesn't make anybody think that they shouldn't have surgery because of the expense to me less than a hundred dollars a month from all of my supplements is I'm pretty happy with that I think I think if you shop around and my nutritionist told me this early early on if you shop around and look for vitamins you don't have to buy the very expensive plans that you see that are for specifically geared toward bariatric patients um, I take my bariatric multi that's the only thing that I take that's specifically for bariatric pa patients the rest of the things that I take are just um, vitamins that I found on Amazon or that I heard about else another way and have found that they had really good reviews and ch you know my labs were checked and everything was great I was over on everything again so um, I, I feel like it's I'm okay I feel like I'm kind of coasting with this situation now again I'm gonna have my labs run again in a couple of weeks so I could come back and say that I'm just really really doing poorly but I don't think so I think um, I think I'm doing okay <laughs> except for the iron I think the iron is affecting my energy level a little bit but I don't know we'll see it also could be that I just can't really eat very much so anyway thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some information out of it and I uh, hope you subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate it and comment I I get so happy every time I get a notification that somebody has subscribed or commented on anything you don't even know I'm a very 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 small youtuber I have very few um, subscribers and I just appreciate every single one of you so anyway thank you I hope you have a great day bye